After developing Parkinson's, one drummer has made it his mission to make drum kits accessible for the next generation. Grace Bradley takes us up to Belfast to meet Payette Lamert, or Lamert, uh, the drum whisperer. Every drum kit and every drummer has a story. Pyatt Lambert's story with drumming began when he was a teenager, after teaching himself how to play. He spent the next decades cultivating his love and skill for the instrument, playing in bands until 2021, after being diagnosed with Parkinson's in 2018. I had a sort of conversation with myself, like, what are you going to do to keep drums sustainably, keep drums in your life, something that you can, can continue to do, even as your, your ability to play deteriorates. His answer, to make drum kits accessible for kids. There are kids in our community who want to drum, so I make that, I make that possible. So what I do is I give drum kits away to kids whose families can't manage it, either from a resource perspective or a technical perspective, because what parents that doesn't know anything about drums is going to feel comfortable going out and buying a drum kit. But I mean, you, you should never buy a new car, and you should never buy a new drum kit. Through his travels throughout New England and scouring Facebook Marketplace, Lambert raises money to purchase drum kits, restore them if needed, and give away to aspiring drummers for free. Different kids react different ways. Some get really quiet, some like go crazy because they're just so excited. Um, some are just incredulous because they can't believe that it's there. Last year, I think we had a 10-year-old drumming prodigy that I learned of um, who had come to a, 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 an, op an open mic and he played a bucket and a spatula and a wooden spoon because that's all he had. So I'm like, we, we need to hook up this kid with a with a drum kit. He's, he's amazing, he, he's 11 now, he's in his own rock band. Kids who play musical instruments, actually their brains function better because they've got more and more neural pathways. You think about the uh, 12 year old brain, like the, what, what pathways they have to put down to be able to do this foot, this foot, this arm, this hand, and this hand, doing something differently at the same time. That takes a lot of practice. The discipline that you gain from that, the, the stick-to-itiveness, it's so, so important on so many levels for kids to be able to ex express themselves and, again, get better, get better at something, you know, to that, that um, persistence toward a goal is, is like so important for, for, as a life skill for all of us. So, you know, to, to give a kid a chance to do that and, you know, make music at the same time, that's pretty cool. Grace Bradley, WABI, TV5 News, Belfast.